So let's get right to it. I'm not going to show you every single feature about this radio. I'm going to show you just a small fraction of it that I deem important. Uh, if I went through the whole thing, this will take four days worth of videos and I don't have the patience to, to go through all that. And it, I don't think it's very good uh, video material anyway. I'm just going to put people to sleep. I'm sure I've done that already. But uh, yeah, like I said, the, the, 6D ver the 6X version uh, is expanded uh, uh, transmit uh, range and also re reception. I don't know if the uh, UV6 Delta version has made a change, but the X version, which this is, ha certainly has. Instead of having a sunken reverse SMA uh, connector, you have the female uh, barrel protruding thread here uh, version of it uh, that corresponds mostly to uh, uh, a lot of your amateur radios out there. So finding extra antennas or, or spare antennas or better performing antennas would be easier to find uh, so that's a one big change that they uh, departed with okay let's do some testing on prior videos I already did a lot of testing on these two as far as uh, specs and what it's performing I'm gonna do the same for this guy here so we're gonna transmit on one 45 megahertz. It's a uh, it's a uh, amateur channel there. So let's see what it uh, performs. What's the power out on there? Supposedly 5.2 watts. It's it's the machine is actually measuring a little bit higher, but 5.2. That's that's pretty good for this little radio here. The average on on a lot of uh, handhelds is 5 watts. Let's look at the analog meter here and see what it says. That looks like 5.2 four watts yeah so that's pretty good 5.4 watts on the analog meter now I'm going to transmit it in the 160 range and this is VHF and the public safety uh, side of the house and power out on that is five watts on a dot so it's really good for public safety as well so here's UHF 441 handband on the UHF uh, band let's see What's the power out on this here? And roughly 3.1. It's it's even though the screen says something better, but uh, I'm taking into account this reading here. But uh, that's not too great because this is rated for four watts on UHF. So on this frequency here, it's uh, a little bit over three watts, 3.1 watts so it's a little bit on the low side so let me go on another frequency on the UHF range 3 watts just about on 406 point something now if I go on a higher range 500 and something 3.4 again so it's kind of consistent throughout the whole UHF band from 406 all the way up to 500 megahertz uh, it's about three watts around there and that's okay I mean it would have been better if it was four watts but uh, for some reason it's not transmitting four watts on UHF but on the VHF side of the house 150 144 around there it's the full five watts so I got the TYT just to make a comparison because I got I've gotten a little bit curious now I'm on 441 let me see what that transmit to 3.4 so it, the TYT is actually transmitting 0.4 watts uh, uh, greater than, than the, the ocean here not too big I think it's a big uh, big uh, difference but uh, it's not a game breaker for me at least so we did the transmitter test let's uh, do receive so I got a tone generated here and for all you regulation people out there that are looking for violations I'm just receiving I'm not transmitting onto Muir's channel number two so don't don't get your panties all twisted up and the equipment here is generating that frequency but it's going directly into the radio perfectly legal so with that said let's continue industry standard specification is for a good reception you should receive something like uh, 12 dB of Synad at around 
15 micro volts or whatever and I'm not going to get into the details but uh, take my word for it so here's a tone that I'm generating and I'm going to reduce the uh, the level so I'm looking I'm listening for that bacon in the background the sizzling bacon the static so I'm 0 0.18 0 0.17 0 0.16 15 the bacon is being sizzled even more that's too much there you're going to burn it now with my hearing, uh, I could tell from all these years that that's around 12 dB of cyanide, give or take a few. But at a level of 0.15 microvolts, that's way within spec. That is awesome for this little radio here. And I'm pumping it in right into the antenna port. So let's compare the TYT radio and see how it measures up. So okay, on the, on the uh, ocean, we got a minimum level of 0.15 before the static or the sizzling bacon uh, was getting a little worse. We got the TYT radio on here and let's see what that does. Doesn't sound too good. Not like, not like the uh, ocean. Uh, it sounds like you're really burning the bacon there. So I'm going to increase the level there see what level it took for it for the sizzling bacon to kind of be just right around 0.24 so this radio here the ocean is a bit is quite a bit more sensitive than uh, or better reception than the TYT radio uh, but 0.24 is not out of industry specs usually 0.30, 0 0.35, something like that. That's when the radio uh, is deemed not within specification and needs to be changed or whatever uh, worked on. So it's still within spec, but you get better levels of, of, of uh, service out here where this is tuning in a bit better than this radio here. Let's try it on the uh, VX7R. I'm curious now. So here's Muir's number two, 151.88, going into the uh, this radio here, the Yesu, and you're really burning the bacon there. So let's uh, increase that level to see what what minus 12 dB sign that is. Point two nine. So it's actually a little bit worse than the TYT by five. 0.05 of a point and um, it's still within industry spec though so uh, just one radio is just receiving better than the others but I'm kind of curious now because uh, this is designed for the amateur band so let's see if we get that frequency being recept received like that in the amateur band so let's go happy medium 145 zero, zero. It's gotten just a wee bit better, nothing to sneeze about on the ham band there. So the uh, receive sensitivity of this is a little bit less than, than these two. Within industry spec though, so you're still going to do okay. Uh, but the, the Wooks on here, it receives a lot better than both of these uh, by far. This is almost comparable to like your Motorola's and, and Kenwood's out there. Uh, that's the level that you see around there, 0.15 or 0.17 around there. So that's that's pretty good. That's really good. Another thing that we could uh, test for and do comparison is to see how well the filters on on a certain radio is better than others. Uh, like the test equipment is going to be on channel, transmitting into the uh, ocean radio, and you're going to hear the tone clearly. Then I'm going to transmit with this radio here on another channel that's about 5 megahertz away. And I'm going to get close. I'm transmitting 2 watts out of this on this antenna here. This is a high gain antenna and I have another high gain antenna so the match should be right on top of the, uh, of the other. So we're going to see how well this thing filters out other frequencies. And amateurs and, and hobbyists might not you know be too concerned about this particular specification but in the public safety realm 
uh, it's real important because every sing swinging uh, dick out there is going to have a radio next to him or next to a vehicle that has a radio in it and everybody's transmitting receiving and you're going to interfere on top of each other so you want to be able to filter those frequencies out so if somebody's talking on one channel uh, and you're talking on another you're not going to get interference from that other channel and break up your conversation so it's receiving one frequency and here's my other radio frequency on another so here I go you hear the static that's how close it got transmitting two watts into this to see where it, where it fil filters out. Let's do that again. That filters out pretty good, in my opinion. Uh, I don't have any figures or scientific notations or nothing like that. This is just real world demonstrations. Uh, something we all could understand. So here's the TYT radio. It's got the same high gain antenna and the same distance from the transmitting antenna here. It's, all the levels are the same. And there it is. And here's my other radio interfering. Wow, look how far I have to be. And it's interfering. Transmit, transmit, transmit. It interfere the uh, rejection is not as great as as the uh, ocean so it's within spec but uh, you might get a little bit of interference that might interfere with you now here's the Yesu VX7R there's my test radio on another frequency transmitting That's really good. Check that out. I'm right on top of it. Transmitting 5 watts. Double the wattage that I did before. This is acting a lot better than the, than the ocean radio as far as uh, image rejection. So that's pretty good filtering there. Let's, tr let's test this radio and see what it does. Okay, so here's the firefighting uh, radio here that's uh, built for firefighters. It's about the same distance. And I'm transmitting 5 watts on another channel on this radio here. interfering around that location so the Wuxon is actually outperforming the regular BK uh, radio the TYT and the winner of them all is the Yesu VX7R as far as image rejection Now another thing that the uh, Ocean couldn't do before is transmit DTMF, dual tone multi-frequency, the phone tones that you always hear. And that's important for me and maybe some other people because uh, you can use that function to uh, remotely control devices from afar. Uh, so uh, before it could it could only do digits uh, one through nine I think and that said you couldn't do the star or the ABC or anything like that but I think in this version and some other the some of the earlier versions you could do that now so you got the full DTMF features in this particular radio so I'm gonna do the hard ones do the star there's a star right there pound. A, B, C, D.
so you have the full function so that's pretty important for me and, and some other people but uh, that's another feature that, that, that they worked out on, on the newer version here the 6D does that as well